There's a reason we brought in meteorologist Stacy wow. Pengen this morning. Uh, you may know about Stacy. She's not just a, an outstanding meteorologist. She yeah, is because a, before she worked at Channel 13, yep. we actually did a lot of stories on Stacy because of her ice skating ability. You competed internationally, right, mm -hmm. a number of times. Mm -hmm. Nationally and internationally. Before coming over here. You got pretty high in the, the U.S. ranks, didn't you? Well, not as high as Christy, but I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty proud of what I've done. Yeah. And you, and and you still teach? Oh yeah, I'm at the rink when I'm not at the station, I'm at the rink, See? so it's my life. <laughs> so we thought when we had the opportunity to interview Christy Yamaguchi this morning, we said, hey Stace, you want to join us for this? And she said, of course. I, so, I jumped on that so, one. So there's Christy joining us this morning to talk about uh, not just skating, but certainly an, an issue very important to her. Uh, Christy uh, joining us this morning, uh, and can you introduce your guest as well, Christy? Yes, we have Dr. Bryant Stevens with us, and uh, we'll both be talking about the importance of getting uh, your flu vaccine. Yeah, because we all know that you're maybe the healthiest person in the country after watching you and Dancing <laughs> with the Stars. You're well, well qualified to talk about it, but a lot of athletes and people in uh, high positions of, of fame, say, have their own causes they like to talk about. Why did you want to get involved with this one, Christy? Uh, well, I'm a big uh, believer in the flu shot. Um, I've been getting it for several years um, throughout my competitive skating career just to stay healthy during uh, flu season. And um, now that I'm a mom of two and they're under the age of five, it's more important now to protect my, fam my family. So, um, you know, I think a lot of people don't realize that they're a face of influenza. And um, I'm hoping to spread the word and let them know that you might be and uh, you can find out more about it and uh, see if you fall into that category. Come on, I've never seen somebody smile while getting a flu shot, though. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dr. Brian Stevens, and if you could remind us, A, who, who's like the first group of people that definitely should be getting the flu shot now, and then um, why is it so important? You know, talk about the, the more serious effects of having the flu because you can get sick and then you can get very seriously sick as well. That's right. Um, the CDC recommends that all children six months to 18 years are vaccinated. Other high-risk groups include uh, pregnant women, adults greater than 50 years of age, and people with chronic health disease such as asthma, COPD, heart disease, and diabetes. Also, older uh, people who live in skilled nursing facilities should be vaccinated, and people like me who want to protect not only their loved ones, but the ones that they care for, their patients. And so healthcare professionals should be vaccinated. This is very important because influenza is a serious disease. And um, every year, over 200,000 people are hospitalized uh, with influenza-related complications. Another 36,000 people die. And this is uh, largely preventable um, if you only get the influenza vaccine. The influenza vaccine is the best way to protect you, yourself and your loved ones from flu. What about the people who say, you know, I got the flu shot last year, but I still ended up getting the flu because as we remember, um, apparently the shots that we were given last year didn't protect against one of the strains of the flu that a lot of people still had. What do you say to them this year, the people who think or say that they're not going to get the shot this year because of what happened last year? Well, each year the experts do their best to determine which uh, strains belong in the flu. Uh, vaccine. So last year's vaccine is not this year's vaccine. It's different. And it's always important to get the flu vaccine, realizing that it takes about two weeks really for your immune system to uh, be adequate enough to fight off the infection. So if you receive it and you get uh, the flu or flu-like symptoms within two weeks, that's probably because you haven't had a chance to really build up your immunity. Again, uh, the vaccine is really the best way and the most effective way to prevent uh, getting flu. So I encourage everyone to do that. And we're going to put a link on our website so our viewers can get more information on what you guys are talking about. Christy, while we got just another two minutes or so, one of our meteorologists really is a, a world-class skater, and uh, she wanted to have a chance to say hello. So Stacy Pengen, take it away. Well, good morning. <laughs> and I just have to say, you were my idol when I started skating and growing up. And I'm sure you still are to many young girls out there, as well as women as well. You're a devoted wife, you're a mother of two, and you're still an absolutely beautiful skater and oh, it, you just make you. it effortless every time you go out there and I am just amazed at how do you, how do you, how do, you do that? How do you still <laughs> make it look effortless? Uh, I, I don't know, I guess those years of training, um, you know, I mean I think you, you, you know that skating is all about making it look easy and graceful and, 
and uh, fun out there. So, um, you know, I'm a uh, trained professional. <laughs> but I think just the years, and I still love it. I, it's my hobby now. It's not, I don't look at it as my job or, or, you know, I'm not trying to win anymore. But it's, you know, it's just something I love to do. So um, I'm know, 26. <laughs> I'm 26, oh, and I've been out of the, the <clears throat> competitive loop for some years now. And even when I fall now, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm 26. I, I it just, hurts even more now. <laughs> I, I, I believe it, and that's why I don't jump anymore. <laughs> but um, you're also married to somebody who knows his way around the rink. Uh, quite well, and I just have to say, we've always had this little behind-the-scenes riff between hockey players and right. uh, figure <laughs> skaters. So, oh. how did you make that one work? <laughs> yeah, you know, I grew up that in with that whole mentality as well. But when I met my husband, he uh, completely broke, I think, uh, my image of hockey players. And and I was like, wow, he's actually very polite. Oh, good and to know that there is some hope and out there. Spoken, and yeah. So I was like, okay, I have to get to know um, this hockey player a little more. All right. <laughs> Christy, thank you so much for joining us, as well as Dr. Brian Stevens. We appreciate oh, your sure. time. Sure, thank you. Thanks. Who knows, Stace, you could end up with a hockey player, you too. You never know. <laughs> I'm keeping my options open. <laughs> Are there uh, Rochester Americans up with a cup of coffee going, what's the number of Channel 13? <laughs> channel 16, I got a call. I'm just Ask kidding. Ask at 13wham.com. <laughs> Stacey, thank you for joining us. We appreciate you coming in this morning. And uh, we'll be right back with your headlines uh, and weather forecast. She's with, Mar with Marty. With Marty. We'll be right back.